Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I wanna to talk to you about creating your first HTML file. So I'm gonna show you how to create an HTML file. And I'll show you how you can view that HTML file on your web browser, and I'll show you how to set up your HTML file with some default HTML code in order to make it work properly. So the first thing I'm gonna do is create a folder for my project. So I'm gonna create a folder that I can put my HTML files in for my website. Over here in my file explorer, I'm just gonna make a new folder and I'm just gonna call this GA underscore site for Draft Academy site. And then now what we can do is open up this folder inside of my text editor. So I'm gonna come over here and I'll just add this project folder. And now inside of this folder, I'm gonna create a new file. So I'm gonna say new file and I'm just gonna call this index.html. Now, the reason I'm naming this file index.html is because generally when you're creating your first web page, you wanna name it index.html. Index.html is a special file name that we can use, and if a file is named index.html and it's at the root directory of your folder, then your web browser will think that that's the home page of your website. So. If you're just creating one web page like this, it's a good idea for us to name it index.html. But really you can name it whatever you want. I'm gonna name mine index.html. And so now we have our HTML file open. So this is actually a file now that we can use and view on our web browser. So if I just came over here and type hello world, I can actually take this file and I'm just gonna open it up inside of my web browser. So I'm gonna click open open with, and then I'll open it with my web browser. So I'm gonna open it with Google Chrome. And now what'll happen is you'll see this file will open up, and over here on the web browser we have our text. And so this is like the simplest, purest form of HTML, which is just typing out some bare bones text inside of an HTML file, and it'll display here on our screen. But if we wanna have an HTML file that's like an official file and that's structured correctly, we're actually gonna have to add in some extra code in here. So I'm gonna get rid of this and we're gonna create what's called an HTML tag. Now HTML is a language that's used to define layouts for web pages and we can define those layouts using things called tags. So I can create a series of tags and those tags will basically tell my web browser how I want my website to look and what content I want to have on my website. So in order to kind of start creating our HTML file, we're gonna to have to create a basic skeleton of HTML tags. And these are just standard tags that every HTML file is gonna have, and they're basically gonna give our browser different information about what's in our file. So up here, the first tag that I wanna create is gonna be called doc type. And we're basically gonna define what the document type of this file is gonna be. And we're gonna create an HTML file. So I'm gonna type an exclamation point, D-O-C-T-Y-P-E, all caps, just like that. And then I wanna say HTML. So this tag is basically telling my web browser the type of this document is HTML. So this is an HTML document. And now down here, I can start creating what are called container tags. So this is a single tag. We only need one of these tags. But in HTML, there's a lot of tags which are called container tags. And it basically means that there's two tags, so there's a starting tag and there's an ending tag, and you can put other tags inside of them. So they act as containers for either content or other HTML tags. And the first one we're gonna create is just called the HTML tag. So I'm gonna make a less than sign, HTML, and a greater than sign. And now I can close off this tag. So this is the starting tag, and I wanna create an ending tag. So I'm gonna create that down here. And the way that you create an ending tag is you take the name of the starting tag and you basically just put a forward slash before it and then you type out the name of the starting tag. So this is now a pair of tags and you can see the relationship, right? So up here we have the starting tag. So HTML is the name of this tag. You could say that this is an HTML tag. And this is the ending tag. So it uses that same name, but it uses this forward slash. 
So that forward slash is used to denote that this is the ending tag. And this HTML tag is gonna be necessary for any HTML files that you have. This is basically like the highest level tag in our website. It's like the overall container tag for our website. And so all of the HTML code and HTML tags are gonna go inside of here. So now there's two other sets of tags that I need to create. The first set is called the head tags and the second is called the body tags. So in any HTML file, there's two basic sections. There's the head of the document and then there's the body of the document. And the head of the document defines data about the document. So we can define things like the title of the document, we can give the document a description, um, we could define other attributes about the document like maybe an image that's associated to the document. We can also use the head to import any resources that we need into our HTML file. So you'll find out later that we can actually link this HTML file to other types of files and inside of the head we can do all of that. So the head is sort of like the settings of the HTML file. It's like the command center. It's sort of like metadata about the actual file. And we can create the head by creating head tags. So it's gonna be a less than sign. We're gonna type head. And now we can close off this tag just like that. And now I'm gonna create a body tag. So the body tag is where we're gonna put like the meat and the bones of the HTML page. So the body tag is where all of our HTML content's gonna go. Generally the body is gonna be a lot bigger than the head. Uh, the body is gonna be where you're actually putting all the content for your web page. So anything that's in the body for the most part is gonna show up or at least it's gonna get rendered by the browser. Now down here, I'm just gonna make these body tags. So I'm gonna say body and we'll make another closing tag body. And so I'm defining all of these different tags. And when I open this file up inside of my web browser, the web browser is able to look through all of these tags and figure out information about the page. So the web browser can actually like parse through all of these different tags and it can figure out how to display all of the information. So you can define information and you can use tags to help define that information and lay out that information differently. And the web browser will be able to parse through all of that and basically decipher it and use it to build a website. So it's really cool. Now, one thing I want to point out is the way that I'm formatting everything. So you'll notice here that I have these HTML tags and inside of these HTML tags, I have this head tag and I have this body tag. So I wanna point out the relationship between all of these tags. And I'm also gonna introduce you guys to some terminology. The first thing you wanna notice is that I'm indenting the head tag and I'm indenting the body tag. So you can see there's like a couple spaces here. This is basically just a tab. And generally when you're writing HTML, you wanna indent all of your files. And so the rules for indenting are basically like, we have this container, right? So I have this HTML tag and this HTML tag. And inside of here, we have the head and the body. So any tags that are inside other tags, you wanna indent. And so it's just like this, right? This head tag is inside of this HTML tag, so I'm indenting it. Same thing with the body, I'm indenting it. And that will basically visually help you to decipher the relationships between the tags. And we can actually define the relationships with these tags. And one of the most common ways to do that is with like, uh, family terminology. So we would refer to this HTML tag up here as the parent of this head tag and this body tag. So the body tag is the child of the HTML tag because it's inside of it. So if you're ever talking to like HTML developers, a lot of times they'll use that terminology. They'll say like, oh, the head tag is the child of the HTML tag. So I could ask you like, what's the parent of this body tag? And the answer would be the HTML tag because the body tag is inside of the HTML tag. We would also define the head tag and the body tag as siblings. So these would be sibling tags because they share the same parent. And so you can kind of understand that relationship. So if I was to create a series of tags inside of here, um, another tag we can make is like a paragraph. Actually, you wouldn't want to put it in the head. We'd want to put it in the body. So I could create a paragraph tag and don't worry too much about what paragraph tags are. We're gonna get into that. But this paragraph tag would be the grandchild of this HTML tag. And it would be the child of this body tag. So that's kind of like some terminology that you're gonna hear a lot. You know, generally we're defining these 
HTML tags in terms of like generational syntax. So parent, child, grandparent, you get the point. So now that we have this basic HTML skeleton laid out, we essentially have everything that we need for this website. And so I can refresh or I can save this page and I'm actually gonna head over here into my browser. And now when we refresh this page, you'll see that nothing happens. So this is a completely blank HTML document. It's like the simplest HTML document that we could ever write. So I'm gonna show you one more tag that you can use and this is called the title tag. So up here in the head of the document, I'm gonna create another tag called title. And this tag, we're gonna put some information in here. So generally when you have HTML tags, certain tags are meant as containers. So for example, this HTML set of tags is a container. It's basically used to hold other tags, but certain tags are used to hold content. So this title tag is used to hold text. And so inside of these title tags, we wanna put text. And this is gonna be the title of my website. So I could say like Mike's website, and this is gonna now be the official title of our website. And you'll notice that if I come over here to my web browser, look up here at this tab, you can see the title up here is currently index.html. That's the name of the file. But when I refresh this file, you'll see that it updates to Mike's website. And so this is a good example of the browser is able to parse through our website and it's able to read these title tags and figure out what the title of our website is. So these are the kind of tags that you can put inside of your head or like title tags, you know, tags that are defining information about the HTML document. And so down here in the body tag, I could put any content that I want to have inside of my web page. So I could put like, hello world down here. And now when I refresh the page, it'll show up in my web browser. So that's how you wanna go writing out content on your website. Any of the content is gonna go inside of these body tags. And throughout the rest of this course, we're gonna get into all the cool tags that you can put inside this body tag. Seriously, there's so many of these awesome tags in HTML, and there's so many tags that can help us to do awesome things inside of our web browser. So I hope you stick around and we'll learn how to put stuff inside the body. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.